Hey film fans, my name is David. This is Film Collector Archive and today it is episode 8 of the OOP Hunt. Thank you for joining me on this next episode of the Out of Print Hunt. I am always very excited to bring these episodes to the channel as it means that I've been able to track down a hard to find out of print uh, box set or you know really any any type of film release but in this case it is a box set and one that um, I've had my eye on uh, more intensely the last several months um, but I've been aware of it since its release um, this is a box set from Severin and it is very very much out of print very hard to find and I you know, the, the prices that this set is going for, it's, it's just not a small amount of money. And so I really had to, uh, you know, do some research and, you know, kind of ramp up to the idea of, you know, putting the money down for this set. But I'm very happy to have this in the collection. Uh, this is a Severin release. And uh, this is the very, very special release from them uh, of Al Adamson the Masterpiece Collection. Uh, this is an absolutely exhaustive box set on its topic. Of course, Al Adamson here. As you can see on the cover here, we have 32 full-length feature films on 14 discs. So this is an absolutely massive collection. This is going to take me uh, quite some time to get through. This is not something that I'm going to rush through, um, but it is something I am very, very excited to dive in on. Um, so I don't know how I'll go about this. I'm sure I'll just watch it in the order that they have them on the discs. I I'm I don't know if they're chronologically presented here or if they're more kind of broken down into you know subgenres. Um, on the back here is a list of all of the films included. Um, as I stated in the last episode of the OOP Hunt, episode seven, where I had the Herschel Gordon Lewis box set. This kind of continues that theme. Uh, the more recent interest that I have in the regional horror or regional filmmaker, uh, you know, subject. And so uh, Al Adamson was on my radar. And the more I saw uh, about this release, the more interested I was. And so um, this is definitely going to be one of those sets that I feel like it's safe to say this is not going to be for everyone, as is the case with the Herschel Gordon Lewis set. Um, but if you've kind of dove in on uh, regional horror and this is something that you have, uh, you know, big interest in, then I would say maybe it's worth looking into picking up this set. The price tag, it's, it's you know, definitely a little bit of sticker shock on, on you know, what it takes to kind of secure a copy of this, but of this box set but for me personally obviously it was worth it to you know to find this set on ebay and you know pick it up so the seller i worked with was very very kind um so thank you to that seller made it really easy to work with him and and you know we went back and forth a little bit on this and worked with me on on the price a little bit but um you know i'm definitely not out there to i uh, you know try and steal these sets from sellers but i mean um, I'm always appreciative when I come across a seller that's able to, you know, kind of go back and forth with me a little bit on the price. So, um, very excited to have this in the collection and, uh, you know, I've seen this on the shelves of collectors, you know, kind of backdrops on their videos. I know Brian Sauer over at just the discs, uh, th this is featured in basically every video that he makes it's on his shelf. And so. It's been uh, calling my name for a long time. And then you can see on the inside of this set, you get kind of this, uh, as well as the top of the set here, you kind of get this um, kind of a teal bluish kind of color. And then I like the red spine on the box set there. That really just pops with the yellow uh, text on there. So, um, of course, I want to take an in-depth look at this set with you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump over to the overhead camera and take a look at it now. All right, here is our set, Al Adamson, the Masterpiece Collection. Let's go ahead and uh, remove the plastic here from our factory sealed copy of the box set. 
All right, and then I can feel that I've got a loose disc in here. Um, so here is the cover, nice matte finish here. Love the artwork here, and then it includes the name of some of the films that are included. Obviously, we have 32 full-length feature films uh, on 14 discs, so they're not going to be able to <laughs> list everything here on the cover, but I love the, the design uh, that they've gone with here. And um, here you have, you can see here at the bottom, uh, Monsters of Filmland, so uh, call back to some of the old magazines. Here is the spine, and then here is the back. So this lists the films. Maverick filmmaker Al Adamson's real life was even crazier than one of the 30-plus movies he made during a weird, wild, never-to-be-duplicated era. Um, and I know there's a uh, documentary included here uh, that kind of goes over his death. Um, this is a subject I am not, uh, you know, versed on, and so this is going to be an interesting, interesting ride for me for sure. There's the contents of the box set, so let's go ahead and pull this out. So we'll put the box set aside there. Let's go ahead and put the book to the side and. Hopefully I'll be able to kind of show you through this set, but um, there is the front. So this is like a book style. So the discs are in sleeves, um, which I, I've said this before on the channel. Um, with this particular package design, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the sleeves, but uh, Blu-rays, I'm a lot more okay with it than, you know, the, like the 4Ks where, you know, if Blu-rays get you know, mild scratches or whatnot, they're, they play a lot easier than 4K discs do just because of where the data layer exists on the discs. It's a lot closer to the surface on a 4K disc than it is on a Blu-ray disc. Um, and then, of course, it depends on whether or not you have, you know, single layer, dual layer, triple layer discs. But anyways, um, not my favorite kind of packaging. I understand why they go for it. Um, but uh, yeah, with Blu-rays, I'm a lot more okay with it. All right, horror beyond belief. I would put my films against any director in the film industry today and defy them to do a better film for the money. Um, and that's what I love about filmmakers like this is they they really knew how to how to push a dollar, you know, as far as possible. Um, maybe we didn't have loose discs. Maybe they're just kind of you know shifting within their uh, their sleeves here. But here we have. Uh, Blood and Flesh, The Real Life and Ghastly Death of Al Adamson. Um, and then you have a listing of the special features. Here's uh, the first film. And then, yeah, I like the kind of the design here on showing everything that's included on each of these discs. Um, Psycho A Go Go, Blood of Ghastly Horror, uh, The Fiend with the Electronic Brain. I won't read through all these for you, but uh, obviously you can take a look here as we go, but then if you ever want to pause and take a look at the extra features, the, the special features included here, obviously you can, you can do that. And I love the, one thing I loved kind of doing my research on this set was, was kind of the, um, the range of films that, that are featured in here from Mr. Adamson. It's not, you know, one specific genre or one specific type of subject. It seems to be a little, a little bit, all over the place, which I think is, is fun. Um, you know, these are, he's a regional filmmaker. These are low budget. Um, and that's, you know, some of the reason why, you know, I personally wanted to, uh, pick up this set. Uh, not going to be for everybody, but it, it is definitely at the current place that I'm in, in my film journey. This is uh, right up my alley. All right, we have uh, the great Jim Kelly, Black Samurai, Death Dimension, just really fun titles on, you know, a lot of these movies. And this is one that uh, really caught my attention and was one of those films that kind of pulled me into making the purchase was uh, 1983's Carnival Magic. Um, I hear is a really bizarre family type film. Um, 
and very much on purpose. I know nothing more, you know, than just that. Um, I'm really drawn to really bizarre uh, family films. Um, and then here's the kind of the end papers, if you will. If we were looking at a book, these would be the end papers. Really, really cool. Um, and and then we're back to the to the back there. So luckily, no loose discs. They were just kind of shifting within the the box set there just because of the sleeves they're in. So um, there is that. Let's go ahead and put that aside. And then let me just do a quick flip through and just make sure there's nothing that's going to get me in trouble. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So here's the cover. Nice matte finish to the book. Um, and this features Bill Ackerman and Amanda Reyes. Uh, two of the great names in um, the physical media community. Um, Bill Ackerman and Amanda Reyes are all over the place. Um, and I, I, I know work from both of them, but Amanda Reyes, I've, I've done, a, I've had a lot of interactions with her work, um, you know, especially with her love for made for TV films. Um, she is an authority on the subject. If you haven't um, experience the work of either Bill or Amanda. They are, they're both absolutely phenomenal. Um, but this is the blood and flesh files and there's the back of the book and let's go ahead and I'll just kind of show maybe a few pages here. Just a lot of dense, um, just a lot of dense text. Um, I like this filming locations and cast and crew information. Uh, Dracula versus Frankenstein. That's really cool. So lots, lots and lots of good text here. And then there's, uh, so Lost was the last film in there. So that looks to be also a family, kind of a family type film. And I'm always ex excited to see, you know, someone that's kind of an exploitation filmmaker, um, you know, what they would do with the subject of, you know, a family, a family film. All right. So there's the book and of course, all of our discs. And that is a beautiful edition from Severin for Al Adamson's Masterpiece Collection. Thanks a ton for stopping by the channel today and watching this video. I'm always excited to add new entries to this OOP Hunt series. I'm excited to see uh, you know, what comes next. I have no idea really at this point, because historically these episodes have been very, very far apart. I don't do a lot of uh, out of print hunting and, and you know, or, may, or maybe I do, but it, just actually buying the sets. I don't do a lot of buying of, uh, you know, out of print stuff and especially at this, you know, kind of price range and, and, you know, but it's always fun when I'm able to bring in something that is out of print. So I will definitely continue to hunt and uh, I'll be excited to feature a new episode whenever that comes. Uh, it'll probably be a while, but let me know in the comments if you're at all familiar with the films of Al Adamson. Let me know what you think of this set in particular. Do you have any favorites from him? Is his work maybe not so much for you? Uh, definitely let me know your, your comments. Um, I always love to have those conversations with you guys and see what you guys think. And of course, if you are new to this channel and you like talking film, film collecting, if you like watching unboxing videos, um, I invite you to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and finally, the bell icon that will of course notify you when I upload new videos in the future. And until next time, I hope you're able to watch a lot of great films.